Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen because your girl has been a cook lately. So I used to be the type that just never cooked before because you know, my mom always made food. I always got food from out. But ever since quarantine hit, I had a lot of time in my hands and I started experimenting in the kitchen and I actually realized that I actually enjoy it. And then now ever since I've moved into my own apartment, that's all I've been doing. Something about living on your own, I started experimenting with so many different types of food and I actually started really enjoying it and a lot of my inspiration came from TikTok. I've never done one of these videos so we are going to test and rank viral TikTok recipes. Let's watch the first recipe that we are going to do together by Emily Mar Marico. Marico? So she put ice because I think she, it's like leftover salmon and rice, uh, but we're gonna make fresh salmon and fresh rice so I don't have to do the ice method. I got kimchi just yesterday. I never had that before. So we have all the recipes. I'm just gonna stop by Whole Foods and get the, the salmon. Oh my God, the crunch. All right, we got the salmon. Okay, so for the ingredients, you're gonna need some salmon. We are going to put this in the air fryer, easiest thing ever. You are going to need some sushi rice. I'm gonna use the rice cooker, easiest thing ever. For the sauce, it's sriracha, QP mayo. Where did I get this from? I wanna say Costco. Yeah, I got it from Costco. Soy sauce, I've never tried this before. So those are the main products. And then once you're done cooking the salmon and rice, you're gonna get some avocados and seaweed. And that's about it. So. Let's get started. I'm gonna make enough for me and my sister and my brother. So I'm doing three serving size. Into the air fryer. Can you hear that? So salmon is done. Now we are ready to put it all together. So I'm getting this huge jar to mush everything up because I'm trying to do three servings. I'm gonna peel the skin off. There's two. I'm going to mush it together. I don't know if mush was the right word, but you know what I mean. And then we add the sushi rice. Oh, the smart thing to do would be to put this closer. But you know, sometimes, sometimes we just don't think. You kind of just want to do an even ratio of the sushi, rice, and the salmon. Boy, I, I did a lot of rice. What was I thinking? All right, and then we eyeball the soy sauce, sriracha, QP mayo. This better be good because I did a lot. Oh my God. This is how it looks like before I mix it. And now we just mix it all together. Oh my God, this is looking good. Before I distribute it into the bowls, I think I'm just gonna do a quick taste test to make sure it's not missing specific ingredients. This better be good. Mmm. Oh, this is really good. But I feel like, I don't know why, I'm not sure if you're meant to put lemon in here, but I feel like I would like the lemon flavor. I might just do that for my bowl, because I don't want to mess it up, but... Yeah, I feel like lemon would be good. I am gonna add a little bit of salt, some more salt. I could do a little bit more soy sauce, okay? We're gonna prep the avocado. That's a good avocado, some, some brownness, but that's okay. So this is the end result. I'm gonna take this one. This is how it looks like. So unfortunately, I don't have chopsticks. Would have made the experience much better. But we're just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna get some of that. I'm gonna get an avocado. I'm gonna roll it up. Mmm. Let's try this. It's like I'm having sushi. I like it. So now you wanna try it out? All right, my brother's gonna try it out. Okay, this is yours since you don't like avocado. This is the first time my brother tries it out as well. Get one piece of seaweed. Oh, yeah. wow, you got a handful. That's good, yep. All of it. I follow with a piece of this. Don't 
don't like it? No, it's good. You like it? Dude, this is like the... Spicy sushi roll. That one, you kimchi, don't like that one? I don't know. Um, kimchi reminds me of like ginger, but just cabbage style. It's vegan, by the way. This literally reminds me like sushi. It's bomb, right? Yeah. So what would you rate it out of 10? Um, Probably a 7.5. 7.5? I would give it... Or 7. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Pretty good. Maybe a 9. We'll see how I feel about it by the end of the, the bowl once I'm done. All right, that's it for recipe number one. Little interruption before we move on to the next recipe. With all that food, we gotta make sure we're working out as well. And we gotta look cute while working out. So I wanna thank Bailey for sponsoring a partial today's video. I'm gonna show you guys some really cute outfits. The quality is beautiful. It's like Lululemon quality. And actually, I think their logo, low key, looks like it low key. I was wearing it and my sister was like, is that little lemon that you're wearing? I'm like, no, but like it feels really good. So I'm going to start with my favorite, even though this is like workout clothes, I've been running errands in these. I've been actually wearing them like street style, casual. I'll insert a photo, how I styled it with like a nice bag. The back is like super, super cute. You have these cutouts in the back and it comes with a built-in bra. Okay, this is the next piece that I got. I pretty much got things that I could wear like outside the gym and still be cute. I'm obsessed with this color. It's not a white, it's not a gray, it's not a silver. It's like this beautiful icy kind of color. So you do get these separates. I would definitely recommend you guys getting them together as a set because they're so cute as a set. I love the length of the shorts. You guys know I don't really like short shorts even though I, I did get a couple but those are like not tight they're like loose so i'll show you guys that in a second you do get two pockets here again like extremely extremely stretchy and comfortable this is the crop top that comes it's the exact same match to it they do have them in different colors okay i switched the pants to another one these are just like one of a kind i've never had shorts like this they're like tight but they're loose at the same time they're extremely comfortable it does come with a built-in underwear you know those like stretchy underwear so you have those you get two side pockets it's like a tight look but it's not these have to be my favorite gym shorts we got a basic white crop top or sports bra i should say you can never go wrong with it again the quality is like impeccable crisscross in the back looks like a lululemon or an aloe kind of top or a nike top like there's no difference in the quality, but way, way cheaper. And you know, we just have to get a pair of black leggings, classic black pairs, that's like a must. And this is the most comfortable legging pair ever. You get two side pockets, super stretchy. It's high-waisted. I paired it with the same crop top. I do have a discount code of 10% off that you guys can use, so I'll include that right here and in the description down below. Also, from September 26th to September 27th, it's only those couple days, if you guys do check out using PayPal, you will get $30 off at least $99. So if you spend at least $99, you'll get $30 off by checking out using PayPal. And another thing is, Bayleaf was so kind to send a couple of these items for my followers. So I will be picking two winners to be able to choose anything that they want from their website. You guys will be able to get two items from their website. I'll leave all the information of how to enter into the giveaway in the description down below. So just make sure you guys follow that. Okay, and now let's get back to recipe number two. All right, guys, it's a new day and we are back with recipe number two. So remember the sushi rice that I did yesterday? I did a bit much of that, so I figured I'd use it for another recipe. So what I did is I just went ahead and put it in like a rectangular container. I didn't really have a proper rectangular container, so I just put it in one of these. This is rectangular enough. And you just want something like this and then put it flat. And I have it in the fridge uh, for a day or two. You don't really need it that long, but <laughs> here we are. You just need a couple hours. For it to be stuck together and a little cold. Okay, so for recipe number two, this is what we're going to be doing. Mine is definitely gonna be a thick one, but that's okay. Mm. Jalapenos. Got it here, soy sauce, yum. Okay, I'll be honest, I actually did try this recipe about a week and a half ago before I decided to make this video, and I tried it exactly the way it was in the video, and it was okay. It was 
cool, but I feel like it was missing some more flavor. And me personally, eating something that is like almost raw freaks me out. You guys know I am like vegetarian and pescatarian. So eating raw, just <laughs> it's like sashimi grade. So it's pretty much almost raw. This time around, I do want to do the same thing, but with my own little twist and switch it up a little bit and make it like a little bit healthier. So we have the rice all done. Now I did do first mistake with the rice is that you're supposed to put rice vinegar and sugar and a little bit of sesame oil and mix it all up so it's like sticky. I didn't do that before I put it in the fridge. So definitely make sure when you guys prepare the rice, you do do that. We're just gonna pretend like there's that in here. I'll just make it up with the salmon recipe. And then for the salmon, rather than using a big juicy sashimi grade salmon, I'm gonna use this salmon slices. Now, it might be the same damn thing, just in slices, and my mind is playing games with me, but I just feel more comfortable using this. I got this from Costco. This is probably the fifth or sixth one that I get. These are delicious. I usually have them with like either crackers or seaweed. I put seaweed, a little bit of cream cheese, and salmon, and just eat that up. They are so, so bomb. Everything else will stay the same, but I, I do wanna spread it with some cream cheese, give it some more flavor. You could also do avocado. And what I'm gonna try this time is instead of using the stove and just oil to fry the rice, we're gonna try the air fryer. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it out. It'll be much, much more healthier. First things first is you're gonna wanna get the rice into the air fryer. Oh, good, okay. All right, I hope it doesn't fall apart once I cut it. And you pretty much just wanna cut it in rectangular pieces. I guess I could do cubes. One time right here, and then another time right here, and that gives me nine little sushi slices. All right, if this does not work out, at least we tried the air fryer solution. Okay, so I'm gonna get my avocado oil spray and just spray like a good amount of that all over. And then I'm just going to stick these in here. All right, so this is how that looks like. And we're gonna put it into the air fryer. I really don't know how long, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and I'll let you guys know how long I ended up putting it in. Okay, so as the air fryer is doing its thing, you need some green onions. So I already cut that up and you need some jalapenos. Skip the jalapenos if you don't like spicy. All right, and now you're gonna grab your salmon. You can either do what I'm doing and try the slices or you can get what the video had. These are so good alone. And you just wanna cut them in like little cube sections. You guys, I used to never get something this raw before, but once I discovered them and I tried it out, these things are so freaking good. I'm gonna use the same little bowl thing because nobody likes to do dishes. Let me, let me check on the air fryer real quick. All right, not gonna lie, they're seven minutes in and they're still pretty white. They're supposed to turn into like a brownish color, crispy brown, so I'm gonna flip them and see if they did any of that. Yeah, guys, I don't know if the air fryer is gonna work. It's supposed to make it like brownie, but we'll give it more time, we'll give it more time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the green onions. And then the sauces, so some sriracha, some kewpie mayo. Don't use regular mayo, I guess that's a big no-no. I'm gonna put a little bit of rice vinegar, even though that was supposed to be done in the rice, but just so the flavor can be in there. Some sesame oil, some sesame seeds. Now you just mix it all up. I feel like I wanna put some lemon in here also. I don't know, what's up with me wanting to put lemon in everything? So this is how it looks like. All right, let's do a quick taste test. Mm. Oh my God, smoked salmon definitely does it better. I really feel like we need lemon. Lemon, and I feel like I need some soy sauce. I'm gonna put some soy sauce in the mixture. Even though your dipping sauce will be soy sauce, and let me tell you, when I did it last time, the soy sauce dipping was key. It made it so much better. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon. Not too much, not too much. Just start with that. Mix it up again. Here's another taste test. I feel like now I need salt, hold, just a little bit. But I did like the lemon in there. It gave it a nice little flavor, but don't go overboard with the lemon. Let's check on the rice again. We got some crispy rice. 
All right, so I left them there for 25 minutes and halfway I actually sprayed the top with avocado oil so it can get crispy. And after 25, 26 minutes or so, I got the color that I want. So there's the rice. And then we're just gonna be putting the salmon mixture on top of each rice. I definitely made the rice a little too thick. That's okay. And then we gotta top each one with a jalapeno slice. Oh my God, you know what I forgot to do? Add cream cheese. Oh well, okay. I'm gonna try one without cream cheese and just add cream cheese at the very top. This is how it looks like. I definitely would do them like more rectangular so you can fit more at the top and a little bit thinner so it's not as thick, but you know, with the container that we had, this is what we're working with. Okay, we're about to do a taste test. I'm telling you guys, dipping it in soy sauce is a must. Oh. 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 Mm. 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 oh yeah, the crunch is definitely still there. I would do air fryer over frying it any day because it tastes exactly the same, way healthier and less calories without all that oil. Definitely difficult to put it all in your mouth when it's that big. That sounded wrong. All right, I'm gonna grab some cream cheese now and just pretend that I had it layered. Mm, no, I don't think the cream cheese is actually necessary, but soy sauce is definitely necessary. Makes the biggest difference. It's not bad with cream cheese, but you can't really tell the flavor of it that much because of everything else going on. All right, guys, so I'd probably give this like another 8.5 or 8.75. Last time that I did it, it was probably like a seven, but I really like the idea that I was able to do air fryer and I love the salmon much better now because of the salmon that I got. It was the smoked salmon rather than the sashimi grapes that made me feel better. Maybe do an avocado on top next time. The only thing here is carbs, nothing is fried nothing is oiled you got protein you got veggies it just looks very like something you'd get at a fancy restaurant it's a great appetizer to do all right guys we are back with recipe number three i'm so excited about this one because this is one of my favorite things to eat and it's super super easy to do so we are going to be making a grilled cheese in the air fryer crunch okay oh my god ever since I discovered this my mouth has been watering for it so it's super easy I've never done grilled cheese in an air fryer so when I saw that you could do it in an air fryer I'm like yes please so you're gonna need some parchment paper. You're gonna need some bread. Now, sourdough bread would be really good for this. I believe this is a sourdough walnut bread, which sounds very fancy. This bread is from Wild Grain Box. It's a delivery service where you get fresh sourdough, pastries, and pasta. This is not sponsored, but they sent me a box and I've already been down with one of their sourdoughs, finished that, and now I'm gonna try this walnut one. I just finished baking it for about 20 minutes and let it cool and now we're gonna cut us up a few pieces to use that for the grilled cheese they did send me a discount code if you guys want to try them out i will leave it in the description down below oh my god do you guys see that mm. okay here's one here is the second one and then you're gonna need your choice of cheese now he didn't list the cheese so i have to guess what cheese he was using i know one of them was pepper jack one slice of pepper jack one slice of swiss cheese and then he added some jalapenos i love a little spice put the other part of the bread on top and then he did put some olive oil i'm gonna actually use avocado spray because i do want to save myself the calories you know anytime you can and butter usually i would use the spray butter as well because that's zero calories but i'll just use real butter so i'm not changing up the ingredients too much some garlic powder and then you put it into the air fryer for eight minutes and turning it flipping it halfway so we'll see how it goes all right eight minutes are done my favorite sound ah. you can see a little bit of the cheese let's cut it up oh i wanted to get the little 
you know, but that didn't happen. That's okay. So this is how it looks like from the inside. Definitely feels crunchy. On the inside, it seems it's still a little soft. On the outside, it's hard, so that's good. Here it is. Let's take a bite. Mm. Pretty good, pretty good. I love the crunch of it. I think I was trying to be a little too fancy with the walnut bread. The walnut bread is really good, but I feel like it's like a sweet, you know? So if you like sweet and salty, it's a good mix, but I feel like you need some jam or something with the walnut bread. But I love the crunch. It definitely kept it soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. Love the jalapeno. Could have done a little less garlic powder, but other than that, pretty good. This looks like something you'd get at a fancy restaurant. This is like a fancy grilled cheese recipe, especially with the walnut bread. Maybe I would like play around with the cheese more. Maybe like I'll put like American cheese mixed in with like pepper jack. I wish I had some tomato soup right now because grilled cheese and tomato soup is like my favorite combo. So I'll give this like a 8.75. Okay guys, and for the final recipe, we have a dessert option. Quick disclaimer right now, this video, I'm filming this last part three, I think it's like three months after. You can probably tell from the length of the hair that this has been a while. I totally forgot about this video, and then I was going through my SIM card, and I'm like, yeah, I filmed this, and I never uploaded this, and I never did an outro. So we're gonna finish off this video with a dessert option. I have this saved on my phone for a while because in the Middle Eastern culture, we love dates. We eat dates a lot. And I feel like I've done something like this in the past, but not really. So we're gonna do this the right way. Here is the video. It's super popular. It had like 17 million views, which is crazy. Um, so pretty much I have everything ready right now. All you need is some dates. I got these from Costco. I melted some chocolate. I used Hershey's and then just some chocolate chips. I didn't have coconut oil, so I just put oat milk, put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. And there you have your melted chocolate to dip it in. And then some almonds. I crushed my almonds, crushed them whichever way you like to use the knife. I literally just like hammered them inside a Ziploc bag. So we have some chopped almonds here and then peanut butter. And then I have my tray ready with some parchment paper. The finished date is gonna go on here and we're gonna keep it in the freezer. I don't know for how long, but I'm just gonna keep it there for a few hours. Okay, so we're just going to cut the date in half to create a little pocket and remove the seed from inside. Get some peanut butter. Oh, this is the crunchy kind that has the little chunk. And then put that inside. Throw some almonds in there, like that, and then close it up and dip it in here. And that's about it. I feel like this would be good if you like switched it up and did like, like different kinds, which we do that a lot, like pistachio inside, walnuts, just play around with it. Okay, and I think what I'm gonna do since I have leftover almonds, we're just going to decorate it a bit and sprinkle that on top, cause why not? For like a little extra crunch. And then I'm gonna put these in the freezer and let them sit there for a couple hours. I wish I had some pistachio right now. I would sprinkle some pistachio for a little more sass, but here's how it looks like and into the freezer they go. Okay guys, so it's been at least like five, six hours and this is how they look like. So it's pretty frozen, at least it looks, the chocolate looks pretty frozen. We're gonna do a taste test. Here we go. Oh my God. It tastes like Snickers. This is amazing. You guys, I'm not even joking. This tastes exactly like Snickers. You're literally having a Snicker bar. It has no caramel in it, but the peanut butter with the almonds and the chocolate. I would probably rate this a 10 out of 10. Not gonna lie, I can't even tell the difference between that and the Snickers. We have a special guest in the house. Now he's not a fan of peanut butter or chocolate. That's true, or chocolate. Very weird, but you've had Snickers before, right? Yeah. So you know. Mm -hmm. So try it and tell me if it tastes like Snickers. Okay, I'll give it a bite. Mm -hmm. Why? The smallest one? Yeah. Yeah. It's so good, I can't get over it. 
You can't tell me that this is dates. Mm -mm. Right? What does it taste like? Chocolate. Not a chocolate. Well, it is chocolate, but doesn't it taste like Snickers? Mm-hmm. Tastes like Snickers. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? Yeah, guys, so I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna have me another one, and I'm gonna be making a lot more to keep in the fridge. Next time I wanna try it with like white chocolate and like pistachio and like other flavors, but this is literally a copycat healthy version of Snickers. So 10 out of 10 for this one. I'm glad we ended it with a 10 out of 10 rating. So that is it for today's video. I hope I don't have chocolate all over my mouth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, I would love it if you can subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.